gotta get this paid. Cool, are we stacking? Been in a whole lot of pain, now we laughing. Me and Bay making plays till we crashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't need to be on the scene, we are the scene. Yeah. Dripped the weather from head to toe, the baby me. Yeah, I get what's mine. Let's remind them, be my ride. So this is our official first day here, just full day. Yesterday, well the video before was like a traveling day, so I just showed like us traveling, getting here, but today is our full day. So uh, we're going to do the gondola, I just got dressed, and after that we'll probably get something to eat like lunch, and then we, we're doing dinner tonight. I would have took taken y'all to, um, what is it called by the other hotel? Palazzo? Palazzo. Yeah. And uh, this morning, because we went over there, we got some juice. I showed it on Instagram, but I should have put it on here. We may go back tomorrow if we do like the spa treatment and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm gonna look into that tonight. But I don't want to keep recording y'all in the bathroom because that's exactly what I uh, did yesterday. <laughs> Recorded a whole video in the bathroom. But this lighting is gorgeous. Makes me feel beautiful. Bae, I'm beautiful. Yes. Girl, if your man love you, that's all that matter. When your man, <laughs> when your man love you, girl, don't worry about nothing else, okay? They came and cleaned the room up today. Let me ask y'all something. Have y'all ever left like, <laughs> this is TMI. Have y'all ever left like uh, garments or anything like in the bed? or on the side of the bed and you come back and it's neatly folded at the end of the bed? No, me either, I was just asking for a friend. <laughs> you know how you might forget? And then you come back, you be like, oh my God. Oh my God. We did, I, well, not we, I, I don't know. I'm just asking for a friend. But anyway, on the cruise ship, it was so funny. I was like, and then I, I uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. But he, <laughs> he was for Eddie. Yeah. Eddie, that was his name. I came back, Eddie had to fold it, but stuff, put it at the end of the bed like it was. I'm like, oh, Lord. He stayed on his phone, so he didn't care. Yeah, child, you just done left your stuff in the bed and on the side of the bed or TMI, but it's the truth. We all. Well, y'all probably done did it before. It ain't never happened to me. <laughs> oh, this is what I wanted to show. Let me show y'all. Y'all know I'm trying to be more organized and stuff, right? Because I, I usually just throw my stuff in the... Hold on, let me see if I can find it. So I bought this little... <clears throat> y'all probably... Y'all excuse it, mess. Can you see it? At least I got my own little corner where I can do my makeup and my stuff not all over the place. Oh, bags, bag smart. So I thought it's cute. It's a little travel bag. So I put some mask over here on the side. And then I put, then it had, and then it hangs up as well. Those are my favorite lashes, y'all. So you put your makeup and stuff and then your toiletries. I know y'all probably don't need that, but it, it just came in ha handy. Yeah, you can hang it up with your stuff in there. But it worked out really well. Because I'm, I'm usually very unorganized and I'm trying to get organized. But if anybody needs a little bag, I thought it was really cute. I'll put it in the description box. I'm just recording and talking to y'all. So these are the glasses I had in the Freddy's video. And y'all said uh, that it didn't look bad. Hold on. And I wanted to show you. Um, there goes some light. But yeah, here's the glasses. I wanted to show you all the um, sunglasses organized. I thought it was so cute. So here it is right here. Hold on. This is it. Do I have it upside down or no? No, that's it. Okay. So I got it off of Amazon and it holds three pair of glasses. And it's kind of got like a hard shell so you don't have to worry about your glasses breaking or anything. And it smells like leather. <laughs> so yeah. This is it. 
So just in case somebody else wants to have a little sunglass organizer or whatever, I'll put the link down below. But I thought it was so cute. You know, when I find stuff, I'll be thinking the world of it. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. Oh, let me try these sunglasses on for y'all. Let's see which one this one is. All right, I'll just do it like this. Okay. So, that's one pair. They need to be, all of them need to be clean though. Here's another pair. Hopefully you can see it. So that's another pair. I got these. And these are real, real cheap, bae. I mean, I'm talking bae. I called y'all bae. <laughs> these are really, really cheap, inexpensive. This is the other pair. Oh, these are kind of cute, though. Okay. Bae, you like these? Mm -hmm. I like these. I just picked up a couple pairs so I could have some just in case we out in the sun or something. And these are the older pair. Y'all seen these. Let's see if I can. Let's see. Yeah, these. And my nephew broke my other pair. <laughs> he threw it straight across the room. I gotta buy some more of those, but this is the other pair. So y'all let me know which one y'all like. One, two, three, or four. Which one was your favorite pair that fits my face? Y'all know I got a, like a wide face, a pie face. So um, I have to get like big glasses or that's what I feel. But, but I like these right here. Come through, KC. I can't see it really because it's a glare, but. I like these. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I like these. Mhm. Mm I think it was like five, seven. They were they were no more than seven dollars, eight dollars. But yeah, I just want to show y'all my um, sunglass organizer and also my um, sunglasses that I picked up was like seven dollars a piece. I don't think I need to buy no expensive one because I either sit on them, I lose them. So until I know how to uh, keep up with them, I know y'all like, girl, uh, yeah, I'm serious. Until I can keep up with them, I'm not gonna buy anymore. I just keep buying these. My soul surrendered. I spent a lifetime waiting for the right time. For who knows when we'll meet again this way? No, no. So let's from the earth. 
Einstein from Piotr. <laughs> this is where I have to get close and personal and whisper sweet nothings in your ears. <laughs> Things like timeshare. I'm kidding, don't kick me out. <laughs> Do not jump, do not kick me out, I'm joking. It's more like this. <laughs> Tell me when will you be mine? Tell me cuando, cuando, cuando we can share a love divine. Oh, my darling, tell me when. When will you say yes to me? Tell me cuando, cuando, cuando you mean happiness to me. Please don't make me wait again. No, I can't wait a minute more. Tell me cuando, cuando, cuando. Oh, my darling, tell me when. Boom, boom. Skibo la baru. You're really uh, good. Yeah. Thank you. What does cuando mean? I've heard that from the song. Now. Uh, give, give it to me now. <laughs> Where'd you say you're from again? Florida. Florida, that's yeah. right. What part of Florida? Jacksonville. Oh, okay. Yeah. Over there with the Jaguars. Yeah. Hey y'all, so this is one of the restaurants we actually had dinner at, so I figured I would stick a clip in here. We went to Major Domo. I don't know if this restaurant is actually still open. I believe I heard that it was closed, but it was delicious when we tried it. So here's a look of an overview of the menu. The food was very, very good. And I believe the dish that I got that night was the lobster lo mein. Um, I think that's what I got. And I know it was delicious. That's it. Oh, it looks so good. And I believe this was a truffle mac and cheese. And I think that's truffle or truffle seafood mac and cheese, one of those. And that was like a vegan dish that Kit had got. So Vegas was fun. I love, we had so much fun. I'm definitely going back, but now it's time to go on another cruise. <laughs> I always get so excited. So we're going on Allure of the Seas. She is so big and beautiful. Let me know if you've been on Allure, if you like Allure, uh, if you're going on Allure in the future. But yes, I love Allure of the Seas. So this is us. If you see that bag on Kit's shoulder, you can bring two bottles of wine. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, but yes, you can. Welcome to your next adventure. Every cruise is different. Remember that. They're never the same. So this is deck five, the promenade. I wanted to put a clip in here so you can see the difference between Freedom of the Seas, the one that me, Alicia, and Alana was on. This promenade is, I want to say, twice as long as the other one. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's really big. But um, so you can see everybody when you get on the ship, this is where they kind of gather um, until their room are ready. But I usually go straight to Bolero's right there to the right and go get me a mojito. You have to get a mojito on the first day. That's my favorite drink. You got to find a bartender that makes it perfectly. Now we're going to find our room. I'm excited. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to say. So, yes, we're going to find our room. And Kid is always in front of me. Cause I'm always like taking pictures and looking around. So your key is always on the outside of your room door, just like on the other cruises. And a lot of people are kind of worried about that. Cause they're like, why somebody can get my key. I don't know why that never bothered me, but this is our room. We got in, what is this? A central park balcony. So you don't have the ocean view. You have the central park view. 
let me know if you've ever stayed in one of these but i'm gonna um give you a, like a little small room tour but i wanted you to know what kind of room it was and yeah looking at this i'm excited all over again <laughs> what's up my connectors and welcome back to the channel so today we are on allure of the seas um i'll put a little clip in the beginning so y'all can see us like boarding and things like that so we already checked in we're in our room i'll give you a room tour so we have already um booked our dinner reservations we've already done our mustard drill the mustard drill y'all so much easier these days trust me we don't have to stand outside anymore everything is on your phone oh my god it's so nice but i'll go into more details of how you do the mustard drill now and what else did we do i already had two drinks two mojitos y'all know that's my favorite drink if you don't know mojitos is my favorite drink so yeah we are i already had two kidding hasn't had any yet but yeah i've had two so if i see my love hey how you doing yeah i have <laughs> So we're waiting on the luggage and then we will um so it's about it's almost two o'clock now and we don't leave until what about five o'clock so we won't leave until about five o'clock but um actually i could just show y'all the room now let me just show you the room now so we can get that already already over with so hold on oh okay They would make an announcement right now when I'm getting ready to do this. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. If you have just joined us, welcome aboard the Allure of the Seas. For on. you and any other guests who hold have on. not yet completed the mandatory guest safety briefing, we already did. We ask that you proceed directly to your assembly station at this time. We already did. We'd like to remind you that this safety briefing is mandatory for all guests. And currently, we are still showing some guests who still need to complete the safety briefing. Unfortunately, guests who do not complete the safety briefing will not be able to sail with us today. So please take care of this at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. And remember, the sooner you check in at your assigned station, the sooner you can continue to enjoy the glorious and beautiful allure of the seas. All right, Josh, I'm going to show you our room. Hold on. All right, so that's our stateroom. We're on deck 12, room 647. That's kid on the balcony. Okay. Ugh. Trying to close it down. All right, so when you come in our room, we have a central park balcony, meaning when you go out on your balcony, you won't see the ocean, but you will see like the central park area, which is like a park on deck eight, okay? So when you come in your room, if you're new to cruising, I hope this helps. When you come in your room, you have the bathroom immediately to your right. Hey, y'all. Don't look at my good. I just ate. Um, that's the shower. So if you're wondering how big the shower is in the Central Park balcony, this is it. All right. Oop, I'm going the wrong way. My bad. Um... So yeah, you have your cabinet, so well, little space areas, so you can put your little toiletries and stuff like that. But so let me just show you the little space area, so you can put your toiletries and toothbrush and all that kind of stuff, you know. And that's your girl. <clears throat> Don't worry about that. We'll work on that later. And um, y'all like this? I love this aromatherapy lotion. I love it. I, I tried it at Leisha House and then it smells like a spa or something. So I bought some of that. We're still waiting on our bags for the other stuff. But anyway, okay. So then you have a little couch right here. That's the bed. You have the TV. And you have more cabinet area right here. Storage area, I should say. So I have my Amazing Greens and I have my floor deck. So y'all know my iron is has a mind of her own and then um what else oh you have a mini refrigerator here i brought some perrier on board you can bring 24 i think 24 waters or sodas on board per stateroom i only bought six i could have bought more but then you have these drawers more drawers and then mirror area where you can do your little makeup. Then here's the closet. 
and when you join the crown and anchor society you get two rope you get the robes i think it's either upon request or upon arrival i don't know but so yeah they give you two robes then i got a you know you get a free gift every time you come on board i always choose like a tower little slippers or something but i think i'm gonna start giving them away so i'm gonna give a pair of these away that's our bed that's what it's that's what we're gonna love on each other <laughs> But it's, it's really comfortable and stuff. It looks real nice at night. This is the balcony. Of course, y'all see Kit out there. So, remember, you won't see an ocean if you get the Central Park balcony. You will see Central Park. Now, they playing music out here, so I'm just going to do like a voiceover probably on this part. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to do a voiceover on this part because they're playing loud music that's coming from the pool area. But this is the Central Park um, view from upstairs. That is Deck 8. It is so beautiful out there. It's like you're in a real park. You don't even know you're on a ship. That's the coolest part about it. Um, <clears throat> so up there is the pool area where they're playing music. But uh, deck eight is nice. At night, it's quiet. So that is the actual room tour. Um, real nice, in my opinion. If you're someone that don't like to see a whole lot of water, you know how a lot of people be like, hold on, I'm going to push y'all back a little bit. All right, so you know how a lot of people don't like to see the ocean? You don't have to get a room. You can get a balcony where you can go outside, but you don't have to see the ocean. So you can get a boardwalk balcony, or you can get like a Central Park balcony um, on the o Oasis class ships. So if it's on an Oasis class ship, you don't have to see all that water because y'all be like, I can't drink that much water, Casey. You don't even have to worry about it. You wouldn't even know you were moving. We really... We don't really feel anything half of the time. So it's real nice, seriously. I wouldn't tell you any lie, for real. <laughs> but yeah, it's very cozy, it's very comfortable. We've stayed in the Central Park balconies before. Now what happened on this cruise is we, we let them choose our cruise um, room. You know, sometimes it's a little bit cheaper. If you look and you put, you can pick our room, there is a difference in price. Always check both prices. If you are specific at where you want to stay, then you choose your room. But if you don't care like me, baby, you can put me, like I said, by the pool area, down on deck one. <laughs> I'm fine with that. So, uh, yeah, this is a nice room they picked for us. So, that was it. I just wanted to show y'all the room. I said, I'm going to go around the ship, show, show y'all some little areas. And I'm going to get this cruise started. I'm happy. I'm excited. I don't care how many cruises I've been on. I'm always excited for the next one because each cruise is always different. Hey y'all, so I started to like take y'all around the ship. I was just showing you that the cruise ship has 17 decks. The 17th floor is usually where the suite lounge is and the suite, um, suite state rooms are. For those of you who don't like like the smaller rooms, I know a lot of you voice concern about being claustrophobic and it being too small. So if you want like the suites, there are suites up on deck 17. Um, I was trying to show you all, this is deck six, one deck above the promenade. So I was trying to show you all how the difference between this ship and Freedom of the Seas. To the right is the photo gallery area. And <clears throat> to the left is the schooner bar up on the left hand side. And now you can see in that middle where you see the four brown posts, that is the rising tide. It is a bar that goes from the fifth floor all the way up to the eighth floor. And you just ride the bar. You know, it's it's so cool. <laughs> you just take the bar up and down. And that's the promenade all the way on the other end of the ship. And you can see everybody. It's like the hub. It's like a mall. Now, this is deck six. This is the boardwalk. See, there are bedroom, There's rooms up there. So if you want a room that's not overlooking the water or the park, you can get boardwalk. And it's more active and a little bit louder over here on the boardwalk side because there's always like activities and stuff going on. The aqua theater is back there. Sabor, the restaurant is here. Um, Johnny Rockets, like a burger place. Is on okay, so on this sailing, we did six nights and then we did another leg, which was eight nights. So we did consecutive cruising. We did back-to-back -back cruising, which is so exciting. And then on Allure, they give you a private lunch for all consecutive cruisers. Come on, Allure! What's up, my connector? So we are aboard Allure of the Seas. As some of you may know already, we were on Allure of the Seas for six days. Now we're continuing. <laughs> 
Uh, cruise. So we, we're doing a back-to-back -back cruise. So we're going to do eight more days on the Lord of the Seas, but we did change rooms. So I wanted to give you a room tour. Right. So this is our suite. We have a grand suite on this sailing. This sailing will be for eight nights. So when you come in the room, you have mirrors, which are closets. We already put some of our clothes up, y'all. So We have closets. Y'all know I take a blanket everywhere I go. So that's the closet. That's the closet space over there. You have plenty, plenty, plenty of storage. All right, y'all. So this is... What? This, this, this is the bloopers. He done turned the whole light off. All right, y'all. So this is the closet. You get two robes when you have a suite. And also when you're from the Crown and Anchor Society. So that'll be in your room. You got the two mirrors, so when you get ready to get dressed, that's Kit of trying to hide. Um, so this is your little bar area and your refrigerator. Bar area, refrigerator. I'm going to try and do a voiceover so I can do a better, give you a better look. And you can bring two bottles of wine on for each stateroom that was a gift that was given to us on our first sailing the first part of our sailing this is your little living room area i closed the curtain so the glare and then this is the bedroom well the bed <laughs> and then you have your television and your vanity station i guess and more storage yeah for your outlets each nightstand has storage in there as well you have storage that you can put underneath the bed bathroom is right when you walk in to the right this is the bathroom you have a his and her sink of course, you know, you have your toilet, you have an actual bathtub with shower. Hopefully I'm getting all this so you can see. You have upgraded, um, what's that, toiletries, babe? Yeah. Upgraded toiletries. So that's the bathtub. Let's see if I can get a better shot of how, so you can know how big it is. Now just be careful when you step up in this bathtub because it's, it's a little steep to me. <laughs> right? Yeah. So that's the bathtub plus shower. And then you have, like I said, his and her sink. Nice spacious bathroom. And this is a grand suite. Lounge chairs. Got a little table so you can do a little breakfast at sea on the patio. Then there was the other cruise ships. Oh, what is that, a tanker? Okay. I don't know what that is. Let's zoom in and see if we can see. Okay. Well, we just got done with six days. And we're about to do eight more. So 14 days total. I'm excited. It's so beautiful out here. Thought I met you at the wrong time.